Rabbi Kimchi addresses the Chosen and Kala. Moment of tremendous simcha for both of you, simcha for your wonderful families, and Sha Simcha Bimoino, Simcha Bimoino, to see two beautiful young people coming together, the Ahava, Achva, Shalom, the Reyes. A friendship based on a deep understanding of Taylor and Mitzvahs, of your purpose in life. And it's a wonderful simcha for me as well, personally, to stand here with you, Eita and Gabriella, having known you pretty much your whole life, both of you, and feeling very, very close to your families, Benji and Stephanie, very much pillars of our com community at Neri Israel opportunity to thank you all for everything you do for the community. Sharon and Moish, very well known in the community for all their wonderful chesed and activities across the board, also good friends of ours for so many years. Inve HaGefen, Inve Amazing match made by the Mazava Zivugi, the Rebbeinah brought you together. And I've got no doubt that you will build a Baith Nehm on the Yisrael a home which is deeply rooted in the values of Torah and Litzvah, 
and use all your considerable talents, both of you. I was thinking about the names. Both of your names represent great strength. Eitan means strength in the sense of ability to change the world. The Chazal referred to the Ovas Akadoshim, Avram Yitzhak and Yaakov, as the Eitanim. And Gabriella also comes from the word Gevura, which means an inner strength, strength of dedication, de determination, which you undoubtedly have, Gabriella, together with all your other talents. And these strengths will certainly be the foundation of the wonderful home you'll build together, as is Hashem Yisborach. And we read the Lech Lecha, the Parsha, the opening Sukkim, like Hashem Yisborach gives to Avraham Avinu what one can only call the mission statement of the whole of Kalal Yisrael throughout all the ages. The Nivrechu Vecho Kol Mishpachoy Sadol. What does that mean? That means that Kalal Yisrael have to carry a bracha for mankind, for humanity, a bracha teaching the world, showing the world how it's possible to live with Emunah and Yerushalayim, to live with Chesed, to live the Simcha, to live the Abbas Hashem. That is the bracha that we carry with us. And that is a bracha not just for you and for Klal Yisrael, but for the whole of mankind. And therefore, that should be your aspiration that the home that you build should indeed be a home which radiates that bracha. But as we already saw a few moments ago, this evening is clearly a major musical production. <laughs> there can be no doubt about that. And a major, major musical production can only take place if you have some stars. And there's no question the Hassan and Kala are the stars of this evening. And I was thinking, where do we see the stars in the Torah? Strangely enough, in Parshas Lech Lecha, Kadosh Baruch says to Avram Avinu, in a very curious and somewhat strange discussion, Kadosh Baruch says to Avram Avinu, you'll have a tremendous reward, and Avram complains. He says, hey, Nila, Nasati, Zera, I have no children, what do you mean? I get a lot of brothers. And this is a strange thing to say that Arachayim asks the question, why does everyone say that? Already two chapters ago, Akash Baruch Hu said to Avraham Avinu, he's already got a bracha that he'll have children. Why does he need another bracha? They should have children again. Why is he complaining if he has a munah in the brachas that he received? So Arachayim Akash says something magnificent, which relates directly to our chas and the today. Rechaim HaKadr says, Avraham Avinu says, yes, it's true, you gave me a bracha, Vohyazarecha Kafar Haaretz, that you have a multitude of children like the dust of the earth. But Avraham Avinu was saying, I don't want children Kafar Haaretz. I want children Kekechvei Hashomai. That's what I want. I want to have children who are lean, are like me, who are each one of them an independent star. And HaKadr Baruch Hu turns around and says to him, Habei Hashomai Morei, he gives him a new bracha of children, and this time they're each one a star. Each one has got its own strength, its own initiative, its own light. Meirin esha'elon, to light up the world. And if Avraham Avinu was here with us today under this chuppah, and who's to say he isn't? He would certainly agree that we have stars here together, this chosen color who will light up the world in their own way. It will be a tremendous zechus for your families, Sharon and Moish, and Stephanie. I'd also like to mention your late father, Ida Freilich, passed away so long ago. But there's no question that the Shemayim, he is also rejoicing with you. The Shemayim is davening for you and rejoicing with you. And Shah Simcha B'ma'ayinoi is something that he feels as well, without any doubt. And everybody's gathered here just to give you the Leib Shalem, all their brachas, the Bez Hashem. The Bez Hashem should give you brachas, the Gashmias, the Ruchmias, 
And Shmini Atzeres, we say, Mashi Baruch HaMoret HaGoshem, everybody thinks this is about rain and wind. But the Gedalia Hasidah said, no, it's a tefillah of Ruach and Gosha, of Ruchnius and Gashmius. We're davening at the very end of Tishri, that HaKadosh Baruch should be Mashiv HaRuach, should restore to us all the Ruchnius of Tishri. Umoirid HaGosha, help us to tone down the Gashmius of our lives. And our bracha to you is that Ruchnius and Gashmius should be Matzliach in every way possible. Build a bias name on the Yisrael. And please God, all your family should come together in good health and the Simcha to celebrate Simcha such as this for many years to come. Amen. Amen. Please be upstanding for the condition. Rabbi Kimchi, Rabbi Bnei Yisrael, is Mechabed, Misade Kedushin, and the only two witnesses are Rabbi Kobi Abraimov and Diane Abraham. Yishai Freiler, nephew of the Hassan, please come forward with the ring. Please be seated. Please be seated. Diane Aaron Troy, Rosh based in is Mechiba of Kriyas Haktuba. Shabbos. <laughs> <laughs> 
And Barry Freiler, Uncle of the Fossum, will read the survey in English. Marcheshvan in the year 5778, corresponding to the 22nd day of the month of October in the year 2017. The Holy Covenant of Marriage was entered into in London between the bridegroom, Eitan Friday, and his bride, Gabriella Jo Steinbock. The bridegroom made the following declaration to his bride. Be consecrated to me as my wife, according to the laws of Moses and of Israel. I give you my solemn promise that I will be a true and faithful husband to you. I will respect you, provide you and support you in the best, best traditions of Jewish husbands. I also take upon myself all further obligations towards you in conformity with Jewish law. The bride has given her consent, pledged in loyalty and affection, to fulfill all the duties incumbent upon her as a Jewish wife. This ketubah was drawn up and witnessed today according to Jewish law and practice. Please be upstanding. Diane Dunner, mugged share of the college father, will be the Hubert, the first two brothers.
Kato Adoi Noi, Elihenu, Melech Oilam, Boire Priya Gofen. Bogu Kato Adoi Noi, Elihenu, Melech Oilam, Shakoil, Borolik Vaidoi. Stephen Greenman, mugged shield, the father of the colour for over 15 years, who travelled all the way from Eretz Yisrael especially, will be Mechub the next bracha. Danny Woolick, who has been like a father to the Kala, will, will be Mahub at the next bracha. Rabbi Hema, Rabbi Finchley Federation, will be Mechub at the next bracha. Leonard Ormond, uncle of the Hassan, will be Mechubit, the next bracha. Lawrence Freiler, the oldest brother of the Chosen, is Mechubit, the last bracha.